Normally, when I talk about a game or movie, it tends to be something I'm interested in. However, it's normally not that big of a commitment. But for TV shows, it's different. If I wanted to review a TV show, it would have to be a great show that not only captures my attention when watching, but also when editing. Where am I supposed to find a show that great? Well, the answer is simple. I can't. The Annoying Orange is a series created by Dane Bowe on October 9th, 2009. It received a lot of attention from viewers, mainly kids, so much that it ended up getting its very own channel. The growth didn't stop anytime soon, however. Eventually, it wasn't just a web series anymore. It was a cultural phenomenon. Dane Bow, being the opportunist he is, did what every person would do in that situation. Milk the hell out of it. And eventually, somehow, he got a show. I don't know how he did it, but he has a show. I... I don't know how, but he has one. Oh no, there's an annoying orange TV show, and there's two seasons with 60 episodes! Get me out of here! This is the annoying orange TV show. And somehow this got more than one season. Yup, it got two seasons with a total of 60 episodes. Who asked for this? Gentlemen, we need a new idea for a show that can make us a lot of money. Does anyone have any ideas? Greg? Oh my god, Greg, you're a genius as usual. Of course we should make an annoying orange TV show. Yeah, it was probably something like that. Well, I think I delayed it for long enough. I guess now it's time to talk about... The High Fructose Adventures of Annoying Orange premiered on June 11th, 2012, and ended on March 17th, 2014. The show centers around Annoying Orange and his friends as they go on wacky and zany adventures. The series is episodic, meaning it could do whatever it wants to the characters, and it wouldn't have any impact on the overall series. In short, it's a series about the annoying orange. It's also regarded as a really, really bad show. But why? I decided to take a look at the episode Veggie Zombies, as it's the first one in the playlist. But personally, my favorite episode is Fruit Vengers. The episode starts with a special news report. This pineapple guy talks about zombies, and then you get to see what the annoying orange is up to. And Orange kinda looks depressed. So Orange does the whole, you're probably wondering how I got here, thing. And then we get a backstory for the zombies. Basically, since some kids don't eat their vegetables, this race of alien broccoli people decided to fire a laser cannon to turn them all into zombies. Yeah, it's pretty stupid. So the zombies attack and it's up to Orange and the gang to stop it. So yeah, we're doomed. And then we- <laughs> The past. Where we can see Annoying Orange being the Annoying Orange. This is an intervention, Orange. You need help. Fuck you. So the Annoying Orange goes to therapy because he has a condition where he laughs uncontrollably at his own jokes. Honestly, it's weird to see the Annoying Orange go to therapy in a show that's meant for kids. But I mean... It's their show. So then some zombies show up and they touch Apple's butt cheeks. On a side note, I found the picture for Apple's ass on an actual Annoying Orange thumbnail. Oh, how Annoying Orange has fallen. So then Tobuscus shows up. Yeah, for some reason they thought it was a good idea to bring in Tobuscus. He plays as the owner of the supermarket where Orange and all his friends live. I'm still not sure why though. He said that the zombies are weak to ranch dressing, so that's what they use to kill them. A bunch of zombies grab Tobuscus and bring him to Brazil. Maybe that's where he's been all this time. So they make a plan. Grapefruit and Grandpa Lemon defend the store, and everyone else goes on a zombie hunt. And then they use the ranch dressing to kill the vegetables. We just laid waste to at least 50 zombies. And you did then the fruit get backed into a corner by the zombie horde. Marshmallow sacrifices himself because funny, I guess. So Grapefruit sets the store to self-destruct, and you know, it does that. Shockingly, Orange and the gang survive the explosion. They meet this banana guy who dies no more than 15 seconds later. Clearly the annoying Orange TV show is putting a lot of effort into side characters. 
Oh wait, they're not. So then Orange and the gang are surrounded by zombies. It appears to be hopeless, but then all of a sudden, Orange uses his magical powers of <coughs> And all of a sudden, all the zombies are dead. And all because the Orange is annoying. Then the aliens show up, remember those guys? Yeah, well then they leave. The end. Now you might hear that and think, wow, how is this a 10 minute long episode? Well, the answer is simple. Filler. Lots and lots of filler. So, what is filler? Filler is when you add something into a piece of media for the sole purpose of making it last longer. And the annoying orange TV show is full of it. To demonstrate this, I'll be going through the 11 minute long episode for Avengers in less than a minute. Orange and friends are at the supermarket as usual, but there's this strange blue ooze and they all get powers. Midget Apple becomes a giant, Passion Fruit gets x-ray vision, Marshmallow has super speed, Orange can fly, and Pear gets gills, which everyone makes fun of him for having. Grapefruit gets telekinesis and becomes the bad guy. They all put on costumes and have a battle, but Grapefruit wins by flooding the supermarket. That's where Pear comes in, since he could breathe underwater and control fish. Pear beats Grapefruit and saves the day. The end. Oh yeah, Tobuscus has mop hands. Obviously, I skipped over a lot of the less important stuff, like these characters jumping into the pool, or this tomato character who has no importance to the story besides being the one to push Grapefruit into the water for Pear to beat him up. Game. Hopefully, this can help to show you just how much filler is actually in this show. Spoiler alert, it's a lot. But even with the filler, I don't quite understand why people rate it so low. Sure, a lot of the jokes are quite unfunny, and the animation takes a bit of getting used to if you're not familiar with the web series, but there are a lot of people rating it a 1 out of 10 for little to no reason. I'm honestly tired of people pretending that everything that isn't up to their standards is the worst thing ever. You aren't limited to a 1 or 5 star opinion, you know. But a lot of people seem to forget that. There's allowed to be low tier shows that aren't terrible, and I feel that's exactly what the High Fructose Adventures of Annoying Orange is. It works decently enough as something you put on in the background while you're doing something more important, but like the Emoji Movie, I think it's best to be viewed with a group of friends that can make fun of it. After the show, the Annoying Orange slowly began to lose its relevancy. Nowadays, it's nothing but a shadow of what it once was. Today, despite having over 10 million subscribers, the Annoying Orange is now less popular than ever, and one could only assume that it will continue to decline. There are quite a few reasons for this. It could be the steady decline in quality over the years, maybe the routine got stale, or maybe, just maybe, we grew up. Personally, I think it's a combination of all of those factors. The Annoying Orange will always be a bit nostalgic for me, as it used to be one of my favorite YouTube channels growing up. But as the years go by, time really hasn't been nice to him. And just like real fruit, the Annoying Orange is rotting. And what do you do with rotten fruit? Well, in this case, you get rid of it. Also, let's go back to that Friday Night Funkin' Annoying Orange video. If the Annoying Orange farted, does that mean he has an asshole? Hold up. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end. This video took a little longer to make, you know, because of all the funky 3D effects. So hopefully the quality of this video is enough to make up for it. Okay, bye.